What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here. And Philly Beats are here, and welcome to episode number 10 of the Ultra Lock. Number 10. As you guys already knew, uh, this entire week was pre-recorded. I'm currently in Arizona trying to get some sun on this, this handsome complexion here. Mmm. Yay, pasty white. However, at the time of recording this, the first three episodes have already hit a quarter million views. Wow. That actually makes this one of the most successful Let's Plays of Pokemon under 1 million subscribers. So thank you guys. Thank you. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. I don't even know what episodes 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and 9 are going to be. Oh no, we should be back by then. Maybe. Thank you guys. If you haven't done so, drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get it to 10 thousand likes i believe in you we can do this oh yes oh and don't forget austin down in the description below there's a chance to win this buddy back here the new pokeball 2ds xl pokeball limited pokeball edition pokeball so we just finished our trial we uh went to the ultra ultimate dimensional research lab and then we learned about ultra wormholes oh i'm getting an encounter already oh I, well, before the cutscene i'm the getting cut the scene. encounter oh, oh it's a dratini. nice but you I, already got pink, uh, I mean, uh, Orange Island. Oh yes, I decided to add Orange Island Dragonite onto the team who was captured in a love ball. Huh. And he's pretty adorable. Oh, that's right. This episode we had to change something. So Austin did that change and put that in. I still have to change one of my Pokemon, so we're going to do that this episode. Yeah, I got rid of um, Cinnabon for, <gasps> for Pink Knight. You actually got rid of your Yeah, I got rid Cinnabon? of Cinnabon. Well, it's just a plain dragon that's and true. might as well throw in Dragonite. That's true. I like how no one sees any of the beginning talk up until the first encounter of a cool thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Sligoo. Oh! oh! It's it's a negative, but even though it's positive, it's you a feel negative me? pulse. It? Yeah, it's a negative pulse. It's a dark pulse. <laughs> it's so tiny. So it's a dark electric. It's so tiny. It is. Is it dark electric? It should be dark electric. Is there a dark electric? Oh my gosh, is that another type that hasn't existed? That looks so cute and I should adorable. throw it in. I don't know what its catch rate is. I don't think they're hard to catch. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It's a baby poke. Oh, that should be. Oh! No, it's it's a it's a only form, so it probably has uh, it's hidden power. What? That did a... Well, it's not hidden power ice. Otherwise, that'll oh, mess me up. Oh, I forgot. Pink Knight's level 16. Yeah, Zap Cannon. Oh my gosh. Wow. That little thing messed me up, bro. <laughs> I still have to replace the Pokemon on my team. Yeah, you're probably not doing it with this this Shadow Pulsal. Unless it shows up. Huh? Huh? You never know. Yeah, you you wouldn't do that. Like, stats-wise, what is this, 230? And you can't get Sligu because I got Gumi. Gudra. That's true. I keep calling it Gumi. Gumi's the it. first one, right? Yeah. Oh, we got it. Great. Gumi's the first one. Sligu was it. This is, I thought that was the coolest dragon in 6 year when I saw it. I was like, oh, this drippy looking dragon looks so cool. And it was the opposite of cool. Nothing was really cool. I feel dragons have definitely... Definitely gone downhill. Yeah. They're not as cool as they used to be. Yeah, what it's electric that? dark. Damp? It has damp as an ability? Oh, that prevents self-destructs, right? Yeah. Pulsal. Pulsal, yeah. Plusle. Plus... Plusle. Plusly. Oh, plusly. I've always called it Pulsal. I never saw that first L. Wow, look at that. There's... Wow, you caught the first Bug Dark and now you caught the first Electric Dark. <laughs> I saw a fun thing that all of the original index numbers of the 150 first Pokemon have their own index number. As you know, Rhydon's number one. It was the first Pokemon actually designed and put into the game. There were supposed to be 190 Pokemon in Gen 1. Except that became too ambitious for the studio and they ended up, ended up cutting it and then it was cut down to 150 slash 151. That's why Gen 2 almost felt like a 1.5. Number 190 was actually Victor Bell. Victor Bell was last. I didn't know that. So they moved Victor Bell up. Uh, index number doesn't matter the dex number. Mm. It was just like, oh, this is the last one we're actually going to create. So obviously it was the le one with the least amount of care makes put sense. into it. Makes sense. Weren't there a lot of unreleased Pokemon too? Well, like 40. No, I mean in general, like that have not made it. Like they draw the art and everything. Oh yeah, I mean, pff, hell, you want to talk about how many Pokemon names are trademarked? That's true. All right, we made our way to is this Coney Coney Town. Oh, we can purchase new items. Fantastic. Carbos, Reaper Cloth, Pearl, Draco Plate. Oh my God. Austin. What? There's Master Balls here. Oh my God. I think we have to enforce a new rule. All right, 
Um, I actually thought about this. So Master Balls, we are allowed to get one Master Ball in addition to the one that we get organically in the game, that way we don't over abuse so it. So two total. Yes, which at this point, until that point in time, we can only get the one Master Ball. Um, which I feel like that's very fair. Yeah, because Ooh, festival tickets. I mean, if we un allows you to host a mission in the festival plaza. <laughs> you wanna wanna host a mission? Ooh, it's safari balls. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, bro. I'm stocking up on safari balls. Those are like the coolest ball. I love it. Yeah, we usually stock up on 20 balls of a specific type. Oh uh, yeah, it's a thing. A bug gem, an armor fossil, which the fossils have gone so well for me so far. I mean, I might try it. Go for it. But I don't have enough money. I'm broke. <laughs> Stardust grass memory for great for the the memory thing that he just learned. Yay. Oh yeah. And a fairy memory. That's two memories. Mawa light. I'm getting an amphorosite. Grab that. I need to go get my master ball. We got the uh, the letter saying that they're at the observatory or or whatever. Oh, medicine. Oh, max potion. Max potion. Nice, Thanks, buddy. Pass, pass. Way to be so not cool that you're not gonna make the video. Feels bad, man. All right, here we go. All right, please sell stones. Please sell stones. Oh, level ball. Grab twenty of that. Why are they free? Because it's also uh, a, a second gen ball. Second gen balls are just given to you in this game, where you find them. You never can purchase it, which is a big mistake I feel in this game too. That are at a lower level than your own. Oh, now they're nest balls. Yeah, there's, some of them are similar. But it's the exact same thing. But I mean, if it matches your Pokemon, you know, if you find it, it looks cool. Yeah, if we find something that's black, orange, red, red, and orange. Uh, also, the second person used to sell fossils. Oh, they still sell fossils. They sell fossils. Oh, we don't know if that's actually a fossil, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you should find out. Maybe it's a water stone. Lord Helix might be lucky. All right, let's buy a Helix fossil. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this video and see what this fossil is gonna get me. Right. And this Helix fossil is going to get me... It says Almanite. I don't know if it's... Oh, no, well, on the next screen we find out. You know, I just realized something, Austin. If I were to get another Dunsparce, I'd stick the Eviolite on it. luck with those fossils. I am. So just to recap a little bit, we uh, got the TM for Thief, assigned it to some Pokemon. My uh, fossil didn't turn out that great. We now made our way to Memorial Hill. Now we're looking for a new encounter. Hopefully something cool. You found uh, Verizon. Verizon. Oh, a Halucha. That'd be cool if it's like a dark Halucha. I call him the Undertaker then if he had dark. That would be yeah. so cool. Uh, oh, Clefable. Hmm. Isn't that Gengar's opposite uh, thing? Anti-Gengar. Anti-Gengar. So if it was uh, a shadow Pokemon, would that make it? Mm -hmm. Ghost. Wait, we got something. We got encounters over here. Ooh, wishy-washy in its full form. That's pretty cool. That's OP. I don't have to wait for transform. Yeah, what if it gets hit though? Would it would it go back to its regular form? Uh, it's oh, it's Totem Dark Radicate or regular Dark ra regular Shadow Radicate. We've Radicate? seen him at my trial. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's regular. It's not totem. It'd be much larger to be totem. I mean, it's uh, so it's a dark type. Yeah, so it's it's normal dark. Yeah. Or is it just dark, pure dark, to normal dark? I don't know, and I don't know. Get rid of its only re weakness down to regular weakness. Okay, I'm gonna hit this wishy washy and hope it doesn't go down. I might actually have to catch it again if I bump into it if it doesn't change form. That no, cool. don't you have to go down a red for that to happen? Let's try this then. Ah, uh, double radicate. <laughs> Oh, double Raticate all the way. Wow, evil Raticates. No, oh, I wasn't expecting you to get a Raticate. No. I mean, we had a bump in, we saw him in the cutscene in the totem. We had to see him eventually. Yeah, that was so many episodes ago. What was that, episode three? Three? Yeah, it might have been episode four. Three. Four. That was the trial. And we found Ultra Mega Necrozma. That's right. Ultra, Ultra Shadow Necrozma. That's right. That Bro, one. it has Oblivion Wing? Evil Rat with <laughs> Oblivion Wing? That fits the evil. Yeah, it does. I mean, granted, I just did Oblivion Wing on the other Raticate, and now he has more health, so let's attack him. Oh my gosh, another Delta Streamer. So many Delta Streams. There was one that it was actually useful for the typing, right? That was, um, the Big B. Oh, not good to know. Yeah. Oh, this Raticate would look kind of cool in a level. Whoa! Oh. And what is it called? Justice form, Keldeo? Justice! 
Hang on. That sounds like a 3% catch rate to me. Yeah. Sounds like something I won't be able to catch. Resolute form, and it looks like it has a big thing growing out of its forehead. What's it using? Muddy water. Oh yeah, I forgot we have a master ball we can use at any time. Yeah, I almost accidentally clicked on it. That'd be so horrible. That'd be literally the worst thing ever. Bubble beam. I'm not liking the moves on this thing. Bubble beam, muddy water. It's doing a lot of damage. Jeez. It is Keldeo resolute form, bro. It is water fighting. I could replace it on my team and just say I have a water type. Also, remember when you encountered Raichu and the female form is a different sprite and it was shadow and the male form is not? Oh, that's true. What about Keldeo's non-resolute form? We never know. Different forms have different appearances. Yeah. That's well, why they I... can have different yeah. appearances. All right, dive ball didn't work. Electroweb, what? In tarnations? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who says that? Besides Elmer Fudd. Oh, you're gonna try to organically catch this thing. Yeah, it's water fighting, right? Yeah, but it's not underwater. Oh, dive balls are only underwater? Yeah. Okay, it's avoiding- it's- it's taking out my team and I'm getting very upset. Yeah, dive balls only 7%. I might- I might leave this guy alone. I'm gonna- I'm running away. I can't do it. I don't have the patience for these legendaries that might actually switch forms, like, uh, Groudon. I feel like I'll do all that work and it'll give me its basic form. No, no, but like, that can only happen in battle. I feel like that's why that happened. Yeah? This has been a real dry episode so far. Yeah, it's nothing good. I haven't even been able to replace my team yet. Yeah, I lost my stylus. It's a horrible episode. We just had dinner. That's that's how slow this episode is. Yeah, we actually took a break and went to eat. Every episode that you see is, on average, 20 to 22 minutes. Uh, some of them are a little bit longer, 25, 27. Which, every time you see that, it's about 60 to 90 minutes of gameplay. And we've been recording for over an hour so far. Nice! So, so I guess let's go take on the one with the butt first. Yeah! Walk, 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 and... <laughs> What's up, girl? Again, hope Olivia's not 16. I, I don't think she's 16. I think she's a grown Well, woman. she's Kuna. Yeah, Kuna's usually old. But what, the, the Kuna on the, the fourth island, is, isn't she a kid? I, maybe she's just like a trap kid. Like, she looks like a kid, but she's not a kid. Oh, I mean, she does live in the world. No, but her, parent, her grandparent... Wasn't a grandpa that uh died and then she took over? Oh! It's oh. trial Captain Olivia! Ambor. He's fighting, right? Mm-hmm. Which means I probably shouldn't be using a dark type. Heart stamp. Ha. Feel the wrath of my hearts. And he flinched. Nice. You got the flinch off of that. Alright, here I come with a bug bite! Oh Wow, that's was not that isn't that four times effective on you? I'm dark and psychic. Is Dark Week to bug? I think Dark Week to bug. Oh, and you did not KO him. And you're down. Bye byes. So happy this isn't a Nuzlocke. Yeah, it's an Ultra Lock. Steve the Third is finally learning a powerful grab move, and he's learning Zygarde's Land's Wrath. Oh, you're you're busy dying. Yeah, now I'm very upset because now a super potion was used. Oh, I'm a bug type now. Nice. That's gonna be uh, a great idea a against Umbor, who's a fire type. Who's not using fire moves yet? Don't you have the Z Power Super thing, uh, Breakneck Blitz? Oh yeah, I do. But do I really want to do that against fighting? Yeah. Normal damage. Uh, oh. Become a normal type. Even though he just hit you with a rock move, which was super effective. There you go. All right, that Techno Blast is pretty good. It's yes. coming through. Time for Pokemon number two, which Done. is Bulbasaur. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you go from a fully evolved fire type to Bulbasaur? Maybe he's trying to level one up? Maybe I can lunge now. Also, for some reason, it says that his second Pokemon fainted, not his first or third. Yeah. Giga Drain. used ancient power. Whoa, 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 what's up with this Bulbasaur? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, you drop its attack, just in case it pulls some shenanigans on me. Shenanigans. It's got you super tilted. Sounds like me when I keep losing Pokemon. I did not know that tilted was a word for being upset about something. Yep. Yeah. Really? No. You're pretty old. Clearly. Okay, now we got an ice type. Oh, the Mega Form. Is that Mega? That's Mega. When its mouth is creepily open, it's Mega. Ah. Uh, uh, he is Ice Dark or Ice Ghost? Ice Dark. Should hmm. be Ice Dark. I'll do a dark move. Or just pure ice. And then bite. Bro! That wrecked me. 
just gonna, I'm just gonna drink. I stole this berry juice and I drank it. <laughs> so mine has berry juice. Yeah. I probably should have stole it. Probably should have. But watch his bite. I went from 64 down to 26, yeah, and I flinched. I think its attack is like really OP. Yeah, it is. We got a rock tone going out here. <clears throat> Ooh, and uh. But it's four times a week to fighting, right? I believe so. I think the fighting move can wreck it. If it, if it is dark, maybe it's just pure. Now, why is bite so strong? Is dark what? weak to fairy? Dark is weak to fairy. Yes. Sure. 100? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty you hunted? sure. I'm hunted. I don't know, man. I'm bad at fairy typing. Oh, I used Moonlight. That's my fairy move. <laughs> I regret that. <laughs> okay. Dude, the bite is ridiculous! Uh, flash cannon? I mean, look at its mouth. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, that's a big bite. That is a big bite. That's not even a crunch, though. Crunch is better than bite, right? Yeah, crunch is almost twice the power. Wow, I imagine it had bite. actually crunch on it. Problem. That would be really one hit KO of the team. Oh, definitely. Maybe we're not so over leveled anymore. Oh, we oh we gotta do the thing. Austin, use that editing power. I got the thing. Bum bum bum, better bum. So, uh, just want to say here for a second, we didn't find anything cool at Hano Grand Resort, Hano Grand Beach, at the Root at uh, the outskirts at Memorial Hill. We didn't find anything cool there. Nothing. And we did the trial. We fought some people. We're now going to Aether Paradise. We're probably just going to cut to the Ultra Encounter, which should be Nihiligo or, or UB question mark, whatever it's called in this game. And then we're going to make our way to the third island. Then we're going to find a cool encounter. In any other Let's Play, how many episodes would that be? That's like four to five episodes. Yeah. It'd be like... The, the, the Kakuna's Trial! Yeah. And then the next one will be Exploring the Hano Resorts! And so, we're at two hours of recording, and we're disappointed, but we don't want you to be disappointed in this episode. Because uh, I know that about nine minutes in, we're down to about 40% viewer retention rate. So the 40% of you who are still watching in the next... S well, after the encounter, in the next 30 seconds after we're done with that Ultra Beast, there's going to be something cool. Promise. Venomom. Sounds like a Digimon. Venomon! Venomon and him. Here we go. Okay, what is it? Oh, Something cool. Big money, no way. Come on, come on, come on. Slow oh poke. my <laughs> gosh! A slowpoke came out of the Ultra Wormhole. Why? <laughs> we got the, the disappointment in this episode. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just going to use Thief, and that should. Can we take a moment to KO? understand the fact that a slowpoke just came out of the Ultra Wormhole? Oh, Thief is disabled. Great. Outrage. Kill it. Bye. Did it also disable you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great strategy, Slowpoke. Wow, that was crazy. On to the third island. You ready? I gotta replace someone I'm gonna go, on my I'm gonna team. go patch two. All right, all right. Jump in patches, I see you. Well, you do patch one, I'll do patch two. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, this thing was on the other route! Ah, oh, Peg Knight. I mean, if there's nothing good in this entire island, I'm just gonna end the episode and just do a black silhouette of a Pokemon. Because that's what regular Let's Plays do. That's true. OMG, this thing! Wow, ice cream. Oh! oh! An orange island Vaporeon. Isn't that its shiny color anyway? It's shiny's like a pink, but it's not like that bright pink. That's orange island pink, but it's shiny is also that pink. Oh yeah, it's like a. But that's orange island pink. Yeah. Yay. It it's slightly different from what it normally is, but shiny. Wow, I'm so Don't happy. Any blue balls. Who's got blue balls? I mean pink ball. Oh, love ball. Yeah. It's a love ball thing. Sure is. Oh Stout wow, wind. a pokey ride. <laughs> So rare. I mean, granted, like in the first game, I would have loved to get a Charizard. True. I think it was so weird that you could not get a Charizard, but you could ride one. You could call one to wherever you are in the world and yeah. ride it. You just can't catch one. Zen, mo another Zen mode. What is up? But it has Sparkling Aria, which is Primarina's move, Crab Hammer, Gyro Ball, and Shockwave. Yeah, that ain't bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Minus the Zen mode. Minus the Zen mode. Send it to a box. Volcanion. 
Do it. Do it up. I'm gonna get it. I don't know why I'm not so psyched I'm about gonna... legendaries anymore. This is level 12, and he has Drizzle. That's great for Volcanion. It is. Being a water type? Bro. The hybrid fire water. Getting it down to 13% while it's sleeping, and being at level 32, and he's level 13, doing a level ball will have a 20% catch rate, and I will be golden. Bro, I'm about to catch this mythical Pokemon. I think it's gonna look amazing. I mean, it's Drizzle. The only thing would be cooler if I found the shiny version. Wow, Ferrothorn! Whoa, dude! To be fair, you could have done this. I could have. But I'm. You could have done this, bro. I don't know, I feel like Volcanion was so, like, overhyped back in the day that right. I lost interest in him, too. Also, the Pokeball has a V on it, just saying. Oh, you're doing the thing. Level Ball. You have a use for the level ball. Yeah. Something good. Something good. Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why are we getting so many bad mons? I Come mean, on. they're not bad mons. Come but... on. <gasps> yes, and. Boom. Caught. Second ball. Second ball. A Volcanion inside of a ball with the V. Yep. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That's actually a really cool catch. I mean, but like, you never got to play through a game with a Volcanion. You got it, what, it, don't you get it 50 or 100? That's true. That's true. That's why I'm enjoying it. Like, if I found like a level 2 Mew, i just play with it. Oh, if I find a Mew, I, I'm on it. Alright, so, tell you what, before you walk over there, uh, we're just gonna wrap up the episode here. Guys, if you haven't done so, be sure to drop a like. Thank you for checking out this episode of the Ultra Log number 10. This was a lot of time in this episode. Until next time, Austin John out. And Philly Beats You out. Bye-byes.